Leticia me trae unas muñequitas. Yo me desconecté de los problemas. Y Como esto es un caos, me alquilé un carro. Ah, se alquiló un carro. Sí. Ya ando, ando con, con, con toda la ropa dentro. Con los huevos de corbata. <risa> Así es. <risa> Me he equivocado por cinco sí, veces encuentro con este de frente. A cada rato yo Porque creo estoy que fuera de ruta. Sí, estoy fuera de ruta totalmente. Wow. Yo pienso que no nos toca. Somos el número 28. No, no, no, no. Imposible. En la mañana van los periodistas a la guardia urgente, que hay varios que tienen observaciones. Ahí está nuestro amigo de eh, eh, salvaguardia no urgente. Es que, urgente. Es que a pesar de haber sido ayer. Bueno, comenzó, ah, pero hoy sí. No, y ahí está también. nuestro amigo Ashid al al Julia. Ah, bueno, entonces México, México trajo a cuatro y ahora se van a poner sus penachos y a vestirse de todo. Yo quería conseguirme aquí un par de chicas. Yo me, me traté, me, me medí la polla. Me, me, ah, sí, sí, de aquí, claro. No, eh, no, fue un, fue un plomo. Yo me traje la máscara y todo porque así ya, como vi tanto problema, y le digo, yo me alquilo un carro. Me dice, ¿usted está loco? Le digo, sí. No, pero ustedes están desordenados. Sí, yo voy en el bus, sufriendo. Sufriendo. Sí. No, que se vea la parte de atrás, que se vea la gente atrás. O una... Eh, eh, denle la vuelta al teléfono. No, porque la cámara está abajo, así. ¿Cómo es Murad? ¿Sabe dónde? Si hay para acá. Aquí se ve el escenario. ¿no? Se ve un... Ahora lo tomo uno. ¿Qué es lo más? Bien, nous récupérer tout ça en une Me da risa al final y si yo también traigo al final, sería una cosa que luego más y más gente. Entonces, claro, otro me explicaba que eran varios, me explicaba que eran varios. 
Mira, me dieron este, este hermoso recordatorio. Bueno, va a tener que inventar una actividad el otro año para llevarlo con a París, porque parece que cuando era... Porque el, cuando, el, cuando el ministro me dijo a mí, es más, no va a ser posible, son mucha gente y ustedes quieren llevar igual, nunca saben la que, la que si dirija la cosa. Colombia, pues, lo malo de Colombia. Habríamos, que tenemos que hablar con Colombia para que... No, pero si, si van a tener ellos, se puede llevar lo que ya ganaron y... Y a los que están candidatizados, que son los de la... Yo no que... lo voy a estar porque lo más probable es que alguien más quiera mi puesto. Ya, ya, o sea, cuando yo llegué, uno que no tenía carro, no tenía oficina. Pero y con todas las toda la, la, la noticias que están saliendo, está saliendo en todas las noticias, su nombre sí, está saliendo en las noticias. Pero ahora todo el mundo va a querer decir, ah, mira, Es que estamos... eso es lo que pasa, que entonces se antojan de los puestos. Papá de Candané describió, es más, está a no sé cuántos kilómetros haciendo, y yo le digo, pero ¿por qué, mismo? ¿Por qué machacar tanto en el nombre y las cosas? Porque a mí me da como que... Me empieza a dar, me empieza a dar mancha porque la gente es eso. Porque hubo un tiempo que estuvieron incluida a Krishna, pero bueno, ya luego ha bajado un poco, pero Krishna. Así de juro, la gente del INAC que quiere arrancar esto de todas maneras. Mientras que con los del INAC de Colombia, para lo de la Cosma Congo, hemos trabajado de maravilla. ¿Por qué? Porque el de Colón organizó un congreso Congo y nosotros le pagamos todo. Y porque, y porque Ernesto Polanco es alumno mío en, el, en, la, la, en la maestría. Ah, sí, sí, sí claro. claro. Que se quedó así. Que se da un eco al fondo también. Ah, sí, por eso. Sí, puede. Sí, sí, para nada, échale un poquito para acá. No, para nada. No, usted no. Usted estaba bien. Sí, es una tarjeta. Es apaisada. Sí, sí. Para los largos. Sí. Como tiene una noche. Con esta camarita y todo me confusé porque la misma prendida.
Déjà fait deux fois. Take it <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. We start in uh, one minute. Please get ready. Once our secretary is with us, we'll start. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you had uh, some rest yesterday, and hopefully you have got uh, a nice weather this morning. Just hope that is going to last. Before we start our session, I would like to inform you that uh, the Bureau met this morning and uh, the revision of timetable of the committee's work has been considered. The revised timetable is now published on uh, the 13.com website. Today, we begin our session with the examination of item 10A and then continue with 10B. The Secretariat received request to open nine individual decisions for debate. In addition, two states withdrew their files. Lao People's Democratic Republic withdrew its nomination, traditional art of Naga weaving, for possible inscription on the representative list. 
draft decision 13 com 10 b22 and uh, saudi arabia withdrew its uh, proposal al janadria national festival of heritage and culture for selection on the register of good safeguarding practices we are now ready to examine the first sub item 10a examination of nominations for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. We will examine seven nominations. They have been submitted by Algeria, Azerbaijan, Cambodia, Egypt, Kenya, Pakistan, and the Syrian Arab Republic. Before examining the nomination, it is important that we remember the criteria that must guide our decision today. And uh, I believe they are going to be put on the screen now. The submitting state party is requested to demonstrate that an element satisfies all of the following criteria. U1, that the element constitute intangible cultural heritage as defined in Article 2 of the Convention. The viability of the element is in danger despite the efforts deployed by the community. U3, a safeguarding plan is elaborated to enable the community to continue the practice and transmission of the element. U4, the element has been nominated following the widest possible participation of the community and with its free, prior and informed consent. U5, the element is included in an inventory of the intangible cultural heritage as defined in Articles 11 and 12 of the Convention. Let us move now to, exa to, to the examination of the individual files. We will first examine the nomination, knowledge and skills of the water measures of the Fugaras or water beliefs of Tuat and Tidikelt submitted by Algeria. Mr. Omari, the floor is now yours to present to us the findings of the body on this nomination. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So our first file under action safeguarding list is knowledge and skills of the water measurers of the four grass, all water bay leaves of Tuat and Tidikelt submitted by Algeria. The element concerns the knowledge and skills of the water measurers of the four grass, that is the system of channels, all water pay leaves of the Koso communities of Tuat and Tidikelt. The water measurers are involved in various operations from calculating water shares to repairing distribution combs and conducting water in the channel. Every Fogara connects several categories of social agents and the knowledge bearers, including owners, manual workers, accountants, and water measurers. But it's the water measurers' knowledge that appears to be under threat. Currently, there is little knowledge transmission and lack of communication between the young people and their elders. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies criteria U1, U2, 
U4 and U5 for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. The element is closely related to the, to the way of life, economy, and survival of the desert area of Algeria. The knowledge and skills of the water measurers are closely connected to the historical local land law system, which has been affected by state interventions in oasis agriculture and introduction of technologically advanced underground water extraction methods. Community representatives, members of an association for the protection of the foggers, students, knowledge bearers, and practitioners actively participated in preparing the nomination. However, the evaluation body considered that the information is not sufficient to assess criteria U3. Besides the water measures, the local community is not involved in safeguarding the element as an expression of living heritage. So additional information is required on how the newly acquired knowledge and skills of trained practitioners will be utilized, how the entire knowledge system will be safeguarded, as the skills of the water measurers are not independent of the broader social context of the element. The financing of the safeguarding plan is lacking. The commitment of the state party and the objectives and expected impacts of the proposed safeguarding measures. Therefore, the evaluation body recommends that the committee refers knowledge and skills of water measurers of the foggers, all water pay leaves of toward and TDKL to the submitting state party. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Omare, for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. The Bureau received a request for amendment and debate for this file. The floor is now open to committee members. I see Palestine, Kuwait, Lebanon, Djibouti. Palestine, please. Shukran Sayyid al Rais. I would like to thank the Hayat al Taqimiya for the report of the report. I would like to thank the country that has presented this important part. We know that the knowledge and the knowledge of the people in the desert is an important part because it is connected to the water and connected to the human life. Is there a problem with the translation? No translation. Uh, you don't understand Arabic, Mr. Chair? <laughs> Not for the time being, sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. Wabitali, Kilali, and Natarja Makaim al Am. وبالتالي هذا أهمية هذا العنصر هي ارتباطه بالمياه وارتباطه بنمط الحياة فهو no translation in English I don't know do we have it in French yes we can no you know do you have the translation yes okay I'll continue in English Mr. Chair just to avoid this أنا آسف للإخوة العرب فمشكلة تقنية أكمل يمكن أن أستمر
Oui, on, a, on, on entend l'interprétation en français. Ma'ashi l'hal, hala Yes, it's good now. It's good. Shukran, uh, Sayyid al-Rais. Lan ukarrira kulla ma kultahu, lakin awad an ashkura al-hayya al-taqimiyya wa an ashkura al-dawla al-taraf l'ihtimamiha bihada al-unsur al-ham wal-ladhi huwa fi'lan muhaddad bil-khatar. Ahamiyyatuhu hiya annahu murtabit bil-ma wal-ma hiya asasu al-haya wa bi-namat al-haya fi al-fuggarat fi al-jazair. لن أطيل لأن هناك طلبات كثيرة للحديث لكن حيث أن المعيار الثالث لم يكن مستوفى بالتقييم أود أن أوجه سؤالين إلى الدولة الطرف سيد الرئيس وأرجو أن يعطوا الفرصة للإجابة عليها والآن أود أن أوجه الأسئلة بالفرنسية ألو بخمير كيستيون pourquoi les mesures de sauvegarde précédentes ont été axées sur l'infrastructure La deuxième question, ça concerne le plan de financement de sauvegarde. On aimerait bien avoir un peu de clarification car dans l'évaluation, euh, ce n'était pas clair pour l'évaluation euh, body. Si l'État parti nous, peut nous clarifier cela, merci Monsieur le Président. Shukran Saïd Raïs. Est-ce que je peux demander à l'Algérie de, de réagir sur les remarques faites par Palestine, s'il vous plaît euh, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Euh, je souhaitais juste peut-être vous demander, euh, avec votre permission, peut-être pour nous grouper deux ou trois questions, euh, pour éviter euh, qu'il y ait euh, redondance. Comme ça, nous pourrions répondre à tous les collègues en même temps. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. C'est très bien. À ce moment-là, je vais... Euh, May I ask Kuwait, please? Yes, uh, good morning and thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Uh, Kuwait would like to support the draft amendment submitted by Palestine for the, uh, the water knowledge of skills for water measures in Algeria's file. As uh, our colleagues in Palestine said, the water is a major element, especially in a region where the lack of water uh, is, is there. And the file, as we look at it, it uh, has been uh, pre preserved for so many years. And I think it's a moral responsibility for this committee to continue the preservation of these water measures and water skills for the uh, community, not just for the past community, also for the future communities to appreciate the water system, the water preservation, the water consumption in an area, in a region that has the least water resources. So again, we'd like to support the draft amendment submitted by our colleagues, and we would like also to listen to the answers uh, being asked by Palestine for the state party. Thank you. Thank you, Kuwait. I have got four other members on the list. Philippines, Senegal, Cuba, and Azerbaijan. Philippine, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairperson. We note that this nomination was previously referred and that the state party resubmitted the nomination taking into account the previous assessment of the evaluation body. As it is a nomination for the urgent safeguarding list, we believe the committee should take an inclusive approach, considering that the element is in need of support and safeguarding measures to ensure its viability and future transmission. In this regard, we see the safeguarding plan as presented by the state party can help promote the elements viability since it involves the creation of a steering committee that also includes main actors dealing with water and land resource management including from the government we also uh, observe that there's participation of the local community <coughs> in aspects of the safeguarding plan we would like to request that the state party could perhaps uh, give more information on the documentation and awareness raising measures with knowledge bearers thank you Thank you very much, Philippine. I missed on my list Lebanon. Please, Lebanon. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, J'aimerais bien insister sur uh, l'importance de ce projet qui décrit uh, un élément du patrimoine immatériel, uh, un élément inclusif uh, sur uh, 
euh, euh, qui décrit aussi le rôle vital de ces, de ces mesureurs euh, d'eau et euh, donc que l'on retrouve un peu partout autour de, du bassin méditerranéen comme chez nous les gardiens de l'eau et euh, j'aimerais bien euh, demander plus d'informations sur la communauté euh, locale qui sera impliquée dans le processus de sauvegarde cette communauté est présente dans le critère U4 en tant que signataire du, du projet, mais on ne la retrouve pas dans le U3. Deuxièmement, j'aimerais bien savoir comment le savoir et le savoir-faire nouvellement acquis seront-ils utilisés dans, dans, ce, dans le plan de sauvegarde Merci beaucoup, le Liban. Le Sénégal, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Nous voudrions remercier l'organe d'évaluation et également féliciter l'État soumissionnaire, l'Algérie, pour cet important dossier sur l'eau, source de vie, et poser une question à l'Algérie pour nous indiquer donner plus d'informations sur l'implication des communautés et la transmission du savoir. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Cuba, please. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Eh, notre délégation désire remercier à l'organe d'évaluation pour l'information présentée et pour l'évaluation de la de la candidatura. Eh, notre délégation désire sumarse aussi, comme les qui nous ont précédé, à les enmiendas présentées eh, por Palestina, nos parece que, que estamos ante un, una nominación de especial importancia y significación, sobre todo por la vinculación que nos presenta entre el patrimonio inmaterial y el desarrollo sostenible, en particular en el ámbito del agua, de la gestión eh, de, de saberes y prácticas acumuladas en el ejercicio de una gestión sostenible del agua, que es algo que hoy, hasta nuestros días, constituye un problema sea un proyecto eh, y una nominación que, que sea finalmente inscrita. Al igual que oradores que nos han precedido, nos parece eh, importante cómo se, cómo se presenta en el expediente toda la vinculación con la comunidad y las características de una población envejecida en que eh, una ayuda, una, una participación directa y un acompañamiento directo de la, de la UNESCO en este proyecto permitiría que la práctica y el conocimiento sea extendido y permanezca vivo en aras de la preservación de este patrimonio inmaterial que para la región eh, árabe es fundamental todo el tema de la, región, de la gestión y los recursos eh, del agua. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Cuba. May I request now Azerbaijan to take the floor, please? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, our delegation has carefully studied the file submitted by Algeria, and we would like to thank the distinguished evaluation body members of, for the effort that has been put in evaluating this file. This file submitted presents a very interesting element, which is closely related to the interaction between intangible heritage and sustainable development, and notably to the equitable share of natural resources, as well as preventing and resolving disputes. We are dealing with a nomination that demonstrates close link between intangible and tangible heritage. As a system of fogaras, water wells and tunnels represent an important aspect of the practice of the element itself, whose viability is now under serious threat. Section 1 in particular explains exactly how communities have safeguarded the element in the past and what role has been played by water owners, manual workers, accountants, and finally the water measures. Regarding the proposed safeguarding plan, we would like to note that the plan does not only suggest documenting the practice and training a new generation of water measures at the main lines of safeguarding plan. It also suggests building relationships with stakeholders who also play a role in the practice of elements such as Fugara, owners, and local municipalities. The focus on water measures is also, in our view, is understandable since they play probably the most important role in the practice of element. We also note that budget has been foreseen for the implementation of the plan. Finally, we believe the file also provides sufficient information on the consideration of a broader social context, as local municipalities, wilayat, associations of Fogara owners are expected to be involved, not to speak about 
awareness raising activities targeted at general public. Bearing all this in mind, our delegation would support positive recommendation in criterion U.3 for this file. Thank you very much. Thank you, Azerbaijan. I have got, got uh, a last member on the list, Kazakhstan. Thank you, dear chairperson. <clears throat> Kazakhstan would like to extend its support for the Palestinian amendment. Considering that most countries rather recently got opportunities to provide modern household facilities like centralized irrigation, electricity, or heating systems to remote areas, we understand that it is always the government's goodwill to improve living conditions for people surviving in harsh climatic environment. Whenever technology comes to rural areas, local communities cannot fully assess the value of their traditional and sustainable lifestyle from the perspective of universal cultural heritage. As a committee member, I would like to give credit for realistic depiction of situation in nomination that shows sincere concern from the community representatives, like it was noted in the nomination, the measurers, accountants, students, researchers, as well as the local and state authorities to find practically efficient and long-term safeguards solution. Appropriating current water supply and land resource management system to their traditional forms for the viability of the element would require serious financial, technical and administrative resources from the government and communities, which makes inscription on, on the urgent safeguarding list hardly attainable. Bearing in mind that survival of the element has been threatened by changing traditional lifestyle, making it universal phenomena, we extend our support for the for the inscription on the basis of more flexible and realistic evaluation of viability for such elements. Inscribing ancient knowledge and skills of building and maintaining irrigation system in Saharan or Aziz of Algeria as a treasury of human genius and creativity, as a model of environmentally and socially sustainable livelihood, will inhale a new life for element survival in the future by attracting comprehensive research, documentation, training, and practical application both as a living heritage in Algeria or innovative, innovative housing projects abroad. Thank you. Thank you, Kazakhstan. I have now two more members on the list. Djibouti followed by Jamaica. Djibouti, please. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais d'abord féliciter l'Algérie, porteur de ce projet, devant le comité, car on reconnaît nous-mêmes euh, la pertinence de ce savoir-faire euh, traditionnel lié à la distribution euh, d'eau dans des conditions climatiques difficiles. Euh, dans ce cadre, l'organe d'évaluation a estimé que la communauté locale euh, ne semblait pas être euh, euh, impliquée euh, dans le sauvegarde de l'élément en tant qu'expression du patrimoine vivant. Et d'après le dossier, il y aurait un manque entre les jeunes et les aînés sur la transmission de cet élément. Et la délégation de la République de Djibouti voudrait avoir quelques éléments d'information sur l'implication de la communauté sur la sauvegarde de cet élément. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci beaucoup, Djibouti. May I now ask uh, our friend from Jamaica to Take the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Jamaica would like to thank the evaluating committee, evaluation committee for its work, which is not at all times easy, but nevertheless, it is work that has to be done. We recognize the significance of the water measures of the Fogaras, and if I mispronounce it, please forgive me, and notes that the file has adequately satisfied criteria U1, U2, U4, and U5 in clearly presenting the features of the water measure to the Qatar community and the role in ensuring the survival of the community through management of the irrigation system. We submit that the concerns raised by the evaluation body on issues of safeguarding of the element and ensuring its viability have been clarified by the State Party of Algeria, and further clarification on these areas can be provided in the event the committee requires some from the State Party. Jamaica would also appreciate allowing the State Party to address the concerns raised by Palestine and also supports 
the amendment as submitted. Thank you. Thank you, Jamaica. Maintenant, je veux demander aux représentants d'Algérie de bien vouloir nous clarifier et répondre à, à quelques questions qui ont été posées par les membres du comité. L'Algérie, s'il vous plaît. شكرا سيدي الرئيس قبل كل شيء نود أن نقدم الشكر لكل أعضاء المجلس الذين وجهوا لنا الأسئلة ونود كذلك أن نشكرهم للاهتمام الذي أبدوه تجاه هذا الملف المهم للجزائر ولن أطيل عليكم الكلام سوف أحيل الكلمة للأستاذ رشيد بليل الذي عمل جاهدا من أجل هذا الملف والذي سوف يقدم لكم الأجوبة على كل الأسئلة شكرا سيدي الرئيس Allez-y. Merci beaucoup. Alors, il y a plusieurs, euh, plusieurs éléments à prendre en compte. Euh, L'une des questions redondantes, je crois que c'est l'implication des communautés. Euh, on en avait discuté hier euh, de ce concept de communauté qui est trop vaste et un peu trop théorique. Dans le cas qui nous préoccupe, les membres des communautés directement impliquées par ce problème de la gestion de l'eau sont d'abord les propriétaires de Fogara. Euh, parce qu'il faut bien savoir que les Fogara sont un bien privé. C'est-à-dire qu'il y a un certain nombre de personnes qui s'associent, dans le passé évidemment, et qui ont construit ces Fogara et qui se transmettent les parts d'eau d'une génération à une autre. Évidemment, ces parts d'eau peuvent être vendues et achetées par d'autres. C'est le premier élément, les propriétaires de Fogara. Deuxièmement, il y a les euh, comptables, ceux qui détiennent les euh, registres dans lesquels sont notés depuis des générations, depuis même des siècles, euh, toutes les transactions qui sont effectuées sur les Fogara les nouvelles parts, celles qui sont achetées, vendues, etc. Et enfin, le troisième euh, élément humain qui est en même temps le, le, le plus important pour nous dans le cadre du projet, ce sont les mesureurs d'eau, ce qu'on appelle les Kiyalinma. Donc on a trois catégories de personnes et la première partie de notre travail, qui est déjà effectuée depuis euh, quelques années, a été d'inventorier toutes ces personnes. Donc nous avons mené un travail dans chaque Xar. Le Xar, c'est l'équivalent d'un village. Et nous avons identifié les propriétaires, les détenteurs de savoir et les comptables. Je crois que dans le petit documentaire que nous avons présenté, on les voit, ces propriétaires, ces, détenteurs, ces, ces comptables et les mesureurs eux-mêmes. Donc, ils sont directement impliqués dans le, le, dans le projet. Le, la, la, la, ils constituent la base humaine de ce projet. Nous les connaissons, ils nous connaissent et nous travaillons de concert. Il s'agit de... Euh, parce que, si vous voulez, le, le, le, le, le, ce savoir et savoir-faire a été plus ou moins marginalisé depuis les années 70 avec l'intervention des pouvoirs publics qui ont mis en œuvre des techniques modernes d'accès aux eaux souterraines. C'est un petit peu le, le mythe du développement, du progrès technique, etc. Or, on s'est aperçu, aperçu, après 30 ou 40 années d'expérience, que les projets de l'État, si vous voulez, peuvent fonctionner, mais qu'il ne fallait pas abandonner, laisser dépérir l'ancien système des Fogara, d'accès à l'eau. Parce que ce système est, dire, est issu de la tradition, du passé, et il permet d'entretenir les palmerets existantes. Il y a actuellement environ 300 à 350 palmerets qui s'étendent sur 600 km. Et donc, le, notre projet n'est pas en opposition avec le, les dévelop, le développement économique, mais il est complémentaire. C'est-à-dire qu'on laisse l'État euh, créer de nouvelles fermes dans des endroits isolés, mais nous, ce qui nous intéresse dans ce projet, c'est de continuer à travailler avec 
les détenteurs de savoir, les propriétaires de Fogara, pour que justement ce savoir ne disparaisse pas. Parce que là, si, ça, si cela continue comme ça, dans une ou deux générations, le savoir ne sera plus transmis. Actuellement, la moyenne d'âge des détenteurs de savoir, c'est à peu près 55-60 ans. Vous voyez Et les jeunes sont orientés vers d'autres préoccupations. Donc, ces détenteurs de savoir, nous nous appuyons sur eux pour récolter leur savoir qui est empirique et qui se transmettait de manière orale. Et ce que nous voulons faire, c'est le but du projet, c'est d'arriver à le documenter en travaillant évidemment avec ces détenteurs de savoir pour le constituer, pour constituer ce savoir traditionnel qu'on le retrouve euh, formellement établi, si vous voulez. La deuxième partie du projet, c'est d'impliquer des jeunes, et peut-être des moins jeunes, à partir de 40, 50 ans, euh, qui sont euh, désireux, et il y en a, nous, sont, nous commençons à les, à les recenser, qui sont désireux d'accéder à ce savoir, de les mettre directement en relation avec, euh, au moment d'un de, de, certain nombre d'ateliers de transmission de savoir, mais dans un cadre moderne, c'est-à-dire en utilisant des supports modernes, vidéo, euh, films, euh, communication écrite, etc., etc. Voilà, je vous remercie. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, pour être complet aussi avec ce qu'a dit, ce que vient de répondre mon collègue. Rapidement, sur la question du financement, l'Algérie a, a, a, a, a, a, a mis à disposition donc, des personnes qui, qui sont en train de, de, de, de sauvegarder cet élément. Donc, elle a débloqué une enveloppe de plus de 750 000 dollars qui sont alloués par les pouvoirs publics afin de, de mener à bien ce projet. Euh, donc l'implication de la, la communauté locale, mon, mon collègue vient d'y répondre et euh, il y a une question spécifique sur la sauvegarde de l'élément euh, physique, pourquoi nous avons accès les les, les précédentes tentatives de, de, de, de sauvegarde sur l'élément physique, tout simplement parce que sans cet élément physique, sans, sans la pérennisation de cet élément physique, le, la connaissance empirique dont parlait mon collègue juste à l'instant euh, serait un peu euh, euh, désuète, elle ne servira à rien. Donc c'est comme essayer de sauver l'instrument de musique d'un musicien. Euh, voilà, j'espère je, avoir été euh, complet dans nos réponses et nous restons à la disposition de, de tous les collègues et de l'organe d'évaluation s'ils ont une autre demande. Et permettez-moi juste une petite remarque. Merci beaucoup à, à tout le monde. Et j'ai été très impressionné par la façon dont vous avez tous prononcé Fogara. On a l'impression que vous avez tous un jour ou un, un, un, vécu ou passé au moins par l'Algérie. J'espère qu'on on, on pourra vous recevoir et vous pourrez boire l'eau de la Fogara. Merci. Merci beaucoup, l'Algérie. Thank you, everybody. I believe we are now ready to move to the adoption of the decision paragraph by paragraph. Can we consider paragraph one? Is there any objection to paragraph one? I see none. Adopted. Paragraph two. Do we have uh, any proposed amendment to paragraph two? Or any? I see none. Adopted. Paragraph three. I see under paragraph three, certain amendment proposed by Palestine. Do we have support for this amendment? Yes. Zambia? I have got Zambia and Sen Senegal. 
Is yes, Senegal? Kuwait. Senegal Kuwait and then Kuwait. The Senegal apports on soutien. Could you please uh, maintain your name please so that we can uh, recognize each one of you? I, uh, I had Zambia. Senegal, please. Keep it. Gardez Senegal entre temps, s'il vous plaît. Le temps qu'on puisse noter. We have uh, active support to the amendment proposed by uh, Palestine. Therefore, paragraph three is uh, adopted as amended. Paragraph four. Paragraph 4, an amendment proposed by Palestine. Poland, Jamaica. I see that we have uh, active support for amendment uh, under paragraph four. Yes. Sí, eh, gracias, señor presidente. Sería, quizás sería bueno que usted leyera la lista para asegurarnos que hemos sido registrados correctamente. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Cuba. Therefore, we adopt uh, paragraph uh, four as proposed by Palestine. Paragraph five. We need to read the names, read the names, and we can put them up. If you read them, we go on the summary reports. I'm told that uh, I should formally read the name of all the countries supporting the amendment of uh, Palestine. I, I have uh, Lebanon, Poland, Senegal, Jamaica, Philippines, Azerbaijan, Kuwait, Zambia, and Cuba. There is also Kazakhstan, Djibouti, Togo, Cyprus, Thank you. Paragraph 4 is adopted. 
Paragraph 5. No objection. Adopted. Paragraph 6. Adopted. We now move to adopt the whole document 13.10A1 as amended. No objection. Adopted. Congratulations, uh, Algeria. May I now give the floor to Algeria for two minutes. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Nous n'allons pas monopoliser la, la, la parole. Nous savons que nous avons une longue, longue journée devant nous et nous souhaiterions juste tout d'abord remercier euh, euh, le, les membres et les collègues du Comité du patrimoine matériel euh, pour leur appui et surtout pour leur compréhension de ce dossier, combien important pour l'Algérie pour et pour la communauté qui, qui est derrière. Nous croyons euh, fermement que le, le, le développement durable et euh, le développement d'une agriculture euh, durable, surtout, ne peut passer qu'à travers la protection de nos anciennes coutumes, des anciennes façons de nos pères et de nos grands-pères et de nos aïeux qu'ils avaient d'approcher l'utilisation rationnelle des ressources, l'utilisation rationnelle surtout de l'eau. De l'eau euh, jaillit la vie. Donc c'est pour ça que cet, cet élément qui, va être, qui a été inscrit aujourd'hui, est emblématique pour nous et nous nous engageons à faire tout notre possible pour sauvegarder cet élément, pour le promouvoir et pour revenir peut-être bientôt ici devant ce comité pour vous dire que cet élément ne, ne mérite plus d'être sur la liste de sauvegarde d'urgence, mais plutôt sur la liste des représentatifs et peut-être sur la liste des meilleures pratiques. Cela, nous nous engageons aujourd'hui devant vous, euh, Monsieur le Président et chers collègues du comité. Nous souhaitons aussi remercier l'organe d'évaluation qui a fait un travail euh, vraiment impressionnant et qui a compris la nature de, de, de ce dossier et nous le remercions, nous les remercions également pour leurs recommandations et nous nous engageons aussi à, à, à mettre en œuvre tout ce qui a été euh, euh, pointé par l'organe d'évaluation comme euh, euh, peut-être euh, pour, pourra euh, renforcer euh, notre action euh, à ce sujet. Et euh, nous, nous souhaitons aussi enfin euh, remercier le secrétariat euh, pour leur aide euh, très précieuse euh, dans, dans la, la, la gestion qu'il qu y a eu de, de, de ce dossier. Et enfin, les, une, une, un remerciement spécial pour vous, Monsieur le Président, pour la manière dont vous, vous, vous menez nos travaux et surtout mais un grand merci à la République de Maurice pour l'accueil et pour l'organisation de cet important événement. Nous vous remercions et les communautés et la délégation algérienne vous remercient au nom de toute la communauté du toit Tédouic. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci beaucoup, Algérie, et encore une fois, félicitations. I, I would like at this juncture to recognize and welcome among us Monsieur Zhu Ziang, Vice Minister for Culture and Tourism of China. Welcome, sir. <laughs> to, to also welcome Mrs. Uh, Sakuna Purang, Minister of Culture and Fine Arts of Cambodia, who is with us. Welcome again, madam. Yeah, okay. We will now move to the examination of the nomination Yali Kochari Tenzere, traditional group dancers of Nakichivan, Draft decision 10 A2, submitted by Azerbaijan. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of the evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. The next file is Yali Kochali Tensele traditional group dances of 
Nakchifan submitted by Azerbaijan. Yali traditional group dances are dance expressions based exclusively on collective performances. Until the mid 20th century, Yali were widely practiced but several factors such as gradual laws of social functions for certain types of Yali, a preference for staged performances, labor, migration and the economic crisis of the late 1980s and early 1990s, a shift from informal to formal transmission and a drastic simplification of the dances have impacted the transmission of the practice thereafter. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies all five criteria for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. The evaluation body considered that Yali, Kochal, Tenzele, traditional group dances of Nakchifan symbolizes energy, solidarity, and the rhythm of life, reinforcing social cohesion and friendship. Due to laws of variety, the use of homogen homogenized simplified forms, the gradual laws of different laws of practitioners and social functions of the dances, the prevalence of stage performances and the young generation's preference for other types of entertainment in urban context, its practice continues to decline. The proposed safeguarding plan is well conceived with clear objectives reflecting the identified needs and budget with an aim of creating favorable conditions to transmit yearly and sustain, and sustain their practice in the future. The practitioners, communities, and stakeholders were involved in the nomination process through consultations in a working group. The evaluation body recommends that the committee inscribe Yali Kochal Tenzele, traditional group dances of Nakchivan on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair, uh, Chair of the Evaluation Body, for this clear uh, presentation. May I now I understand that uh, the Bureau received request for amendment on this file. At this juncture, I would like to ask the Secretariat to take the floor to give us some clarification on that issue. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Indeed, as mentioned in the Bureau this morning, an amendment was proposed on this file. Uh, we would like uh, the dear committee members to take note that thanks to the goodwill of uh, parties involved, uh, we would like to propose amendment on behalf of the Secretariat, as is shown on the screen. The Secretariat proposes that the draft decision remains as it is, with an extra paragraph reflecting language that has been used in the past, with the following words. Takes note that the heritage of traditional group dances is shared by communities in the region and beyond. The Secretariat hopes committee members may be agreeable to this amendment. Okay, thank you, Mr. Secretary, uh, Secretary for this uh, clarification. Can we now, are we now ready to move for adoption of the decision paragraph by paragraph? 
paragraph one. Thank you. Yes, uh, Palestine. Shukran, Sayyid al-Rais. I would like to tell you how we will lose the time and how we will be able to get the decision to the decision without a decision. Shukran, Sayyid al-Rais. Do we agree that uh, I see Cuba? Sí, gracias, señor presidente. Es para apoyar la propuesta que ha hecho el colega de Palestina. Muchas gracias. Thank you. There are four moves that we adopt as a whole. Decision 13, com 10 a 2. As amended and uh, through the paragraph proposed by the Secretariat, Adopted. Congratulations, Azerbaijan. May I, may I, before uh, before giving the floor to Azerbaijan, uh, give the floor to Armenia. Armenia, please. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I would like to say that Armenia disassociates itself from the draft decision just adopted. Certain elements of intangible cultural heritage are quite common in number of states, especially in neighboring ones. They certainly cannot be bound within state borders. Unfortunately, we have witnessed a number of cases where attempts are made to privatize one element or another. We have also witnessed strange form of envy when a neighboring state is replicating almost every nomination of another file. It is imperative to assert that such envious approach of a neighboring state that tries to reject others' intangible cultural heritage in order to prove its own is not only pitiful, but also very dangerous for the convention and for the deliberations of the committee. Contrary to the purpose and the spirit of the United Nations um, Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, Azerbaijan still continues politicizing this framework and using it to present its unlimited and groundless claims for every piece of history and culture in the region. Following the submission of the nomination Kochari, traditional group dance by Armenia, back in 2014, and consideration by the committee in 2015, later inscribed in 2017, a followed-up action by Azerbaijan was submission of a replica nomination Yali, Kochari, Tenzere, traditional group dances of Nahichevan for the inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. The title Yali, Kochari, Tenzere, traditional group dances of Nahichevan nomination is a clear example of provocation. Kochari is intentionally mentioned in the title, though there are more than 18 types of Yali as stated and more than 63 forgotten types of Yali. It should be mentioned that based on historical sources and data, group dances had been in wide and diverse practice among Armenian, Kurdish, and Yazidi communities in Nakhichevan until the middle of the 20th century. Referring to the arguments in the nomination file, page 5, gradual degrees in the number of practitioners resulted from forced migration started from the middle of the 20th century. But the state party failed to pay due attention to those communities, which no longer exist in the particular region, and mentioned that main community, which is the Armenian community practicing Kochari element, has been forced to flee the autonomous region since the middle of the 20th century. Significant demographic shift is particular forced migration and ethnic cleansing of the Armenian community, and this is the reason of the decrease in the number of practitioners. Also, the tradition of practicing group dances is widely shared uh, by please, many communities. Please, may I ask you to just uh, uh, I'm be very brief, This is please. the last sentence. Although the tradition of practicing group dances is widely shared by many countries in the world, the culture of dancing Kochari in Armenia, with all its components, social function, techniques, meaning, and variety of cultural expressions, differs considerably from similar ones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May I reiterate our congratulations to Azerbaijan and uh, give uh, Azerbaijan the floor 
for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I don't want to repeat our letter, uh, the, the content of our letter which was sent to the uh, ADG uh, at Tone. Uh, the reply to, to all ad allegations just was uh, raised by the delegation. Uh, there is no need again to repeat el everything what is there, but here we again witness Unfortunately, regretfully, uh, the, another evidence that one state party is trying to misuse its membership and politicize even more. Although, although it was very tough negotiations and efforts from the secretariat, from the committee, from our side to, to find a compromise language on the draft decision. So although we agreed on consensual, on compromise, and we, we show our flexibility on this, we're still witnessing accusations, allegations against us. So I think we have to put an end to this kind of behavior, unethical behavior in this committee. This is not the right place to use this committee for the domestic consumption. To, to pronounce the statements that they will use for the domestic consumption. The committee should not be taken hostage of this. How many years we will tolerate this kind of behavior? Every year we show flexibility on this issue. There is a webcast, the recording of how we accept the constructive approach shown by the, the committee members how we accept the efforts of the Secretariat. But again, what we receive in, in, in, in reaction is the aggressive accusations, allegations about politicization. While in, in contrary, we, are, we were always in favor of the regional cooperation. We shouldn't go too far. We just can look to the nominations that presented by both countries. It's strange to see that uh, the, this state party is advocating for the regional cooperation while they have no single multinational nomination, while Azerbaijan has already three multinational nominations. So who can speak about the regional cooperation here in this house? So I think we have to put the end to this kind of unethical behavior. If you allow me, Mr. Chairman, I will proceed to the statement of thanks to the committee for the inscription of this site. Yes, please. Azerbaijan would like to thank the committee, the members, for inscribing the Yalli, Kyocheri, Tanzeret, which traditional group dances of Nakhchivan on the urgent safeguarding list and commend the evaluation body for the evaluation of this file. This is the second inscription of Azerbaijan on urgent safeguarding list and the first inscription of IICH element from Nakhchivan. And we believe it will raise awareness about other forms of ICH in this particular region of Azerbaijan, uh, which is uh, uh, exclave. Communities in Nakhchivan perceive the Yali dances as one of the most important aspects of their heritage that reach us today despite the challenges the communities have faced in the past. They are performed at various social and cultural occasions that represent a part of identity of the communities in Nakhchivan. These dances promote feelings of friendship, sharing and belonging to the community, as well as gender equality, since they are also performed in mixed forms. We would like to thank all stakeholders involved in the preparation of this file, especially 
Supreme Council of Nakhchivan, Nakhchivan Ministry of Culture, Sharur Folk Yali Ensemble, children's schools, as well as individuals, dancers, and practitioners who have made a huge effort to focus on safeguarding of the Yali dances, and most importantly, Kochari and Panzara, and will now partner to safeguard the element in the most effective way. Mr. Chairman, I would like also to use this opportunity to show the small uh, video, a small film pr uh, prepared by the Minister of Culture, which will give you more idea about how this dance uh, plays in a social uh, role in, in Nakhchivan and entire Azerbaijan. Thank you. Please proceed. Adından UNESCO'ya, Hökumetler Arası Komissiyaya, Yallı Rəksinin Tənzili Korunma Siyahısına salındığına göre öz minnettarımızı bildirdik. Bu bizim için çok mühüm bir hadisedir. Yallı Rəksinin onun köçeri, tənzere ve diğer növlerinin bugüne kadar gelip çatması Azerbaycan halkının milli ruhunun, onun esirler boyu yaşamış dərin medeniyetinin göstericisidir. Hüsusi olarak Azerbaycan'ın Naxçıvan ərazisinde yayılmış, ancak ölkənin bütün bölgelerinin medeni hayatında rol oynayan bu rəks növü dostluğun rəmzi kimi icmaları bir araya getirir. İnsanlar arasında sülhsevərliyi, sevinci, şenliyi təbliğ edir. UNESCO'nun bu kararı sayesinde bugünden itibaren yallı rəksinin korunması yalnız Azerbaycan xalqı için yok, Hemçinin beşeriyet için de önem taşıyacağıdır ve bu her bir Azerbaycanlını sevindirir ve gurur hissi bakşedir. Teşekkürler. Thank you, Azerbaijan. We will now move to the examination of the nomination. The con call what way ended. Sorry. Cambodia for the pronunciation. Draft decision 10 A3 submitted by Cambodia. May I request uh, Mr. Omari please to share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. The next file is Lihoni Hall Words via Net submitted by Cambodia. Lehon Hall Watts via Net is practiced in one community surrounding a Buddhist monastery. Watts via Net and is performed by men wearing masks to the accompaniment of a traditional orchestra and melodious recitation. After generations of transmission, however, Several factors now threaten the viability of the element, including environmental insufficient resources, economic migration from the community, and a 14-year break in transmission from 1970 to 1984 due to the war and Hamel Rogue regime. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfy criteria U1, U2, U4, and U5 for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Lihon Hall Words Savaya and Death is a prayer for happiness and prosperity, especially rain and a good harvest, and is also considered as a powerful tool to ward off calamities and diseases. The ritual practice of Lihon Hall Wat Savayandet unites the local lay population of the Taksko and Pim Ta Ek villages with the Buddhist monast monastic community at Wat Savayandet, where it has a deep spiritual meaning and social relevance. Although the last five masters of the Lihon Hall continue transmitting their knowledge, however, the majority of them are over 70 years old and some are critically ill. The Minister of Culture 
and Fine Arts established a working group to cooperate with the local community during the preparation of the nomination file. However, the evaluation body considered that the information is not sufficient to assess criteria U3. While the body took into consideration that the safeguarding strategy presented does not seem to require large financial inputs, a clearly defined budget supporting its implementation is completely missing. Therefore, the evaluation body recommends that the committee refers Lihon Hall Watts survey and debt to the submitting state. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Omari, for this detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. May I, at this juncture, request uh, for your indulgence on one issue. We are going to consider a number of inscriptions and uh, hopefully many of them is going to be approved. And it is a practice that to congratulate the state member whenever an inscription is successfully completed for the sake of convenience and also to due respect to the speakers who may be intervening for the next inscription, I'll request that uh, whenever we wish to, to congratulate, and I wish also that we do it in, uh, in a way that is not going to disturb the working of this committee, we have got sufficient space on both sides of this hall. If we could just move on either side so that we can uh, continue our workings in a more serene manner. Thank you very much for your cooperation on that score. And uh, with this uh, few words, let us now move to consider the present application where the Bureau received a request for amendment. The floor is now open to community members for comments on that score. I see Philippines wishes to intervene at this juncture. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We, recommend, we, have recommend, we requested that this file be open for discussion because the element clone call, we believe that it should be ref, not be referred back to the state party when the missing information has been duly provided by Cambodia to the committee members. This emphasizes the need for a dialogue between nominating state parties and the evaluation body in such instances when just a little bit of clarification or additional information can complete the picture needed by the evaluation body to finalize its recommendation. For it is apparent in the nomination dossier and the report of the evaluation body that the element merits urgent safeguarding and that the measures proposed are very clear and thorough. The element is highly important as a practice of the Buddhist monastery community as a source of spiritual meaning and social relevance. Thus, we would request that the State Party be given the floor, Mr. Chair, to provide further information on the budget of the safeguarding plan. We have submitted together with a number of committee members amendments to the draft decision. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Philippine. Before giving the floor to the member state, I'll uh, request uh, other state members, mem committee members who wish to take the floor uh, to intervene. And at the end, we are going to give the floor to the uh, state who makes application. I have on my list Palestine, China, Poland, Senegal, and a few others, but we are Zambia, Kazakhstan, and Azerbaijan. Let us start with Kuwait, Kuwait also, I understand, Nepal. Palestine, and then we are going to continue with the list. Palestine, please. شكرا سيد الرئيس وأرى أن هناك العديد من الزملاء الذين طلبوا الكلام ولذلك سأحاول أن أكون مقتضبا أولا أنا أشارك الرأي في كل ما جاء في مداخلة وفد الفلبين 
بعد ذلك أود أن أوجه الشكر للهيئة التقييمية لما قامت به من عمل بهذا بخصوص هذا العنصر الهام لكوهون كوهول وأنا آسف أيضا لهذا الاسم الصعب في الذكر فأعذروني إن الهيئة التقييمية رأت أن هذا الملف بجميع نقاطه محكم وجيد جدا وحتى المعيار الثالث إذا نقرأ ما جاء في التقييم نرى أن خطة الحفاظ وهيكلية خطة الحفاظ على العنصر واضحة ومتينة متينة البنية وتبين دور الجماعات المعنية في هذه الخطة وكذلك اعتبرت الهيئة التقييمية أن التكلفة المالية لهذه الخطة ليس باهظة ولكن لا يوجد ميزانية تفصيلية واضحة هذه هي النقطة الوحيدة التي جاءت سلبية في التقييم لذا أود سيد الرئيس أن أطرح سؤالا بهذا الخصوص على الدولة الطرف Et là, je vais poser la question en français pour que ça soit clair. Euh, pour le U3, euh, la remarque, le point négatif, c'était simplement l'absence d'un budget euh, détaillé. Est-ce que l'État parti peut nous donner un peu de clarification là-dessus Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Palestine. Alors, avant de passer la parole à la Chine, je voudrais répéter que nous avons... Et la Chine, Pologne, Sénégal, Zambie, Kazakhstan, Azerbaïdjan, le Koweït, le Liban, Japon, Arménie et, et la Colombie qui voudraient intervenir. And uh, now it's my pleasure to give the floor to China. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My delegation would first thank the evaluation body for its efforts on the evalu evaluation of this nomination. Um, according to the uh, draft decision, the, the, file, the, the information included in this file is not sufficient to satisfy the criterion U3. Well, our, when, when we look through the uh, nomination files, we notice that in section 3B, which is regarding to the proposed safeguarding plan, we found it is stated for several times that resources come from both within the community and the Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts and other partners are playing a supportive role in way of providing both financial and in-kind support. And we also can trace that available resources from, um, for the implementation of the safeguarding plan are from the, uh, uh, can come from the commitment, commitment of different stakeholders. So, given this context, we would like to request the submitting state for some clarification on this point. Thank you. Thank you very much, China. May I now give the floor to Poland? Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Poland wishes to agree with the amendments proposed by the State Party of Philippines by stressing that the purpose of the urgent list is to prevent the element from the upcoming threats and eventual extinction. As the Cambodian nomination file pointed out, the element is threatened by aging and of the bearers and the consequences thus are connected to it. In this point, the element needs to be inscribed on an urgent basis due to the safeguarding measures. Otherwise, leaving the element without international assistance will be against the spirit and objectives of the convention. Hopefully, the clarification of the state party will complete the nomination file and then will enable the committee to decide in favor of the inscription of the Cambodian element on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Thank you. Thank you very much. Le Sénégal, s'il vous plaît. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais remercier l'organe d'évaluation pour ce, son travail extrêmement important et féliciter également l'État soumissionnaire pour ce dossier très important lié au rituel, lié au bouddhisme qui se traduit à travers un spectacle riche en couleurs et avec une diversité d'expressions culturelles liées au rite agraire, notamment le cycle de la culture de riz. Le seul point qui a été euh, souligné par l'organe d'évaluation, c'est le budget. Nous souhaitons donc qu'on euh, qu donne l'occasion à 
au pays soumissionnaire de fournir des informations sur le budget. Merci. Merci beaucoup, Sénégal. La Zambie Zambia, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. As uh, the Zambian delegation, I'd like to support uh, the amendment by Philippines to support Cambodia's uh, application to the urgent list. As noted already, there are a number of things that they have cited in terms of uh, the threat to the element in terms of migration, environment, and the economy situation. And when we look at uh, criteria three, which deals also with the community, somehow they've mentioned a number of things, and in their rebuttal, they've managed to satisfy the criteria as uh, the Zambian delegation is concerned. So we submit that we support Philippines' amendment for the element to be inscripted in the agent list. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. May I give the floor to Kazakhstan? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would like to support the Philippines Amendment proposal. Um, spiritual nature of Riem Care theatric performance and its geographic concentration into villages near Vatsvai under monastery put survival of the element in hands of community. And it is the community's wish, as the nomination states, to focus on intangible and creative safeguarding measures like networking, training, and fundraising. Budget allocated via National Living Human Treasures Program, regular financial allowances for local monks, and hiring a focal point seem to satisfy community's requirements for municipal support. Requesting member states to draw big funding projects and programs might lead to standardization of nominations. In this regard, we find Cambodian nomination distinctively interesting and setting a good example of community spirit, enthusiastic approach, and the role of elder population in safeguarding the element. Thank you. Thank you very much. Azerbaijan. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, our delegation has carefully studied the file from Cambodia that we would like to commend for the nomination on this vibrant and diverse element whose practice is continued and maintained primarily by rural practitioners who perform for the value and well-being this element brings to the community. When it comes to the criterion U.3, we noted with great appreciation the description of the past and current safeguarding measures under section 3.a, which showed balanced approach from both the concerned community and the national authorities toward the safeguarding of this element, threatened by a number of external and internal factors. With regard to the second part of this criterion, section 3.b, and the issue of a missing budget for the safeguarding plan as raised by the evaluation body, we note that the nomination does speak about, I am telling about quote from the Ministry of Culture of Cambodia, Ministry of Culture and Fine Arts and other partners providing financial and structural support to strengthen the efforts of the community. Finally, we also note that the instructions in the nomination form under the section mention the possibility of in-kind community inputs, which seems to be the case of this particular nomination to a larger extent and is met even if a clear budget estimate has not been provided. We find in a numer uh, numerous instances clear commitment from the state to provide secure or use existing mechanisms to provide financial resources. Thank you. Thank you, Azerbaijan. Can uh, we now have Kuwait to share with us uh, the comment? Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Also, Kuwait would like to thank the evaluation body for the great job they're doing on these files. And also, we would like to congratulate the state party for a great uh, file that's been submitted. And clearly, this file shows the involvement of the community in both ways, in administration of this uh, file and this listing, and also from the financial throughout the, the incoming years. We know that the budget has been submitted, except missing some detailed budget in Section 3B, and we are waiting for the uh, state party to clarify that minor point, we think. So we are in favor of uh, uh, inscribing this, uh, uh, this file, and we would like to also thank Philippine for opening the discussion for, uh, for 
this file. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lebanon, please. شكرا سيد الرئيس بما ان كل ما اريد ان اقوله قد ذكره الزملاء ساكتفي بتاييد موقف الفلبين ودعم التعديلات وشكر هيئه التقييم على ما قامت به ثانك يو لبنان may i invite japan please well thank you very much Sarah. first i'd like to appreciate the effort by evaluation body and other for this element, uh, we highly recognize and appreciate the value of the Buddhist culture, uh, which we have, of course, a very strong sympathy. And uh, we have studied uh, the nomination, and the file has been very well prepared in general, except for the part of the budget. So, you know, if the nominating country can provide good information about the budget, I believe that there's no reason that we will not inscribe this one. So in that case, we will support the amendment by the Philippines. Thank you. Thank you, Japan. May I request Armenia, please? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I see a lot of speakers, so I will be rather uh, short. Um, we are also commenting distinguished delegation of Cambodia for the nomination, and we would like to support um, uh, the, uh, the request on behalf of the Philippines to, to ask the member state to duly provide the clarification and uh, to include the element uh, for further consideration. Thank you. Thank you very much. Colombia, please. Gracias, Presidente. Eh, Colombia quiere reconocer y felicitar a Cambodia por su eh, expediente y sobre todo porque trabajaron de mano con las comunidades. Es un expediente de muy alta calidad técnica y en ese sentido queremos apoyar la enmienda propuesta por Filipinas y dar lugar a Cambodia para que simplemente nos aclare un poco el tema del presupuesto, pero consideramos que es fundamental la inscripción de esta manifestación en la lista. Gracias. Thank you very much. The last one on my list is Cuba. Gracias, señor presidente. Nuestra delegación también desea sumarse a lo manifestado por las delegaciones que nos han precedido y deseamos agradecer a Filipina por las enmiendas presentadas y también nos, nos sumamos al, al apoyo de estas enmiendas. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much for all members who wish to intervene. I Notice Guatemala, Guatemala also wishes to say a few words. Guatemala, please. Sí, muchas gracias, señor presidente. Eh, también como Guatemala, creemos que Camboya ha presentado un buen expediente y, bueno, serán cosas muy, eh, digamos, no de fondo lo que falta aclarar. Apoyamos la, la enmienda presentada por Filipinas y también como Como país, eh, apoyamos a Camboya para que se le dé la oportunidad de inscribir a la lista eh, perdón, de salvaguardia urgente. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Cyprus, please. Merci, Monsieur le Président. C'était aussi pour dire qu'on est d'avis qu'on donne la parole à la délégation de Cambodge. Simplement, je voulais faire une proposition, et si tous les membres sont d'accord, Quand on est d'accord qu'on puisse donner la parole à l'État pour qu'il s'explique un point, est-ce qu'on peut ne pas prendre la parole tous les États et simplement d'indiquer le nom de chaque pays qui est d'accord pour ne pas perdre du temps Merci. Yes, thank you. With a good note of the suggestion of uh, Cyprus, may I now invite uh, Cambodia? Le Cambodge, s'il vous plaît. Monsieur le Président, distingués membres du comité, avant de donner la parole à mon collège qui va répondre aux membres du comité et comme c'est la première fois que le Cambodge prend la parole, au nom du gouvernement du, gouvernement du Royal du Cambodge, je tiens d'abord à remercier le gouvernement de Maurice d'accueillir et d'organiser le comité intergouvernemental dans un si beau pays avec une diversité culturelle très riche. Je voudrais également transmettre mes plus vifs remerciements au secrétariat de l'UNESCO 
pour le travail qu'ils ont accompli afin de nous fournir tous les très bons documents de travail. Et je souhaite remercier aussi les membres du comité pour leur incessant travail afin d'améliorer à chaque session la mise en œuvre de notre convention. Et maintenant, je donne la parole à mes collègues pour répondre à la question du comité. Merci, Madame la Ministre. Mr. Chair, committee members, we appreciate the assessment of the evaluation body which expressed a positive opinion on all criteria except one, the criterion U3. This was due to a technical misinterpretation. Mr. Chair, committee members, we wish to clarify and assure the committee members that the five-year safeguarding plan 2018-2022 in the nomination file was articulated on the basis of the firm budget commitments from all stakeholders, government, communities, and partners in relation to their respective activities, and that budget can come out after when the, the activity is executed annually. It was on this basis of understanding, Mr. Chair, committee's members, that a clear defined budget was missing in our nomination file. With this regard, we have prepared an ad memoir with a clear budget breakdown to, uh, to clarify to the committee's members. We are also pleased to inform the committee member that it, those commitments that have been said since the submissions of our nomination file, two of items identify as urgent need, namely the performance stage, a set of costumes have already been provided thanks to the initiatives taken by the local community together with financial support by the Ministry of Cultures and Fine Arts, totaling more than 75,000 US dollars. As a testimony of strong motivation by the communities and all stakeholders to continuing the in reinvigoration of this treasured form. In conclusion, Cambodia wishes to assure the committee that we will be fully engaged, committed to provide all necessary means, financial, human, material, in order to safeguard the account call of what's fine and diet for generations to come. With this clarification and expression of our commitment, Mr. Chair, esteemed committee members, we thank you for giving us the floor. Thank you, Cambodia. I believe you are now ready to move to the adoption of the decision, paragraph by paragraph. Can we have uh, the draft decision on the screen, please? Paragraph one. No objection, adopted. Paragraph two. No objection, adopted. Paragraph three. Amendment from uh, Philippine. From, uh, yes, uh, Palestine. Shukran Sayyid al Rais, Wafdo Palestine, Yawad Dam, Wal Nimam, Li Atadilat, Al Mukadama, Min Wafdi Philippine, Li Jami al Fakarat, Kaina Tafada Daya al Wakt. Shukran Sayyid al Rais. Yes. Yes, I agree that uh, we have found uh, broad uh, support to the various amendments. And uh, I see Cyprus and Kuwait wishing to, in to intervene as well as Azerbaijan. This is support. Oh, you are giving support, yes. Support to show. Japan is supporting Cyprus, Senegal, Djibouti, Djibouti Togo, Zambia, China. Kazakhstan. Togo, China, Colombia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Lebanon, Kuwait, Guatemala, Poland, Jamaica, Cuba, Zambia. If uh, any one of the states did not hear the name, please. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. There is uh, 
wide support and uh, therefore can we move to uh, adopt the document as a whole Kuwait also uh, is on the list I therefore declare decision 13 come 10 a Then a free adopted with uh, amendment proposed by Philippine and uh, supported by other members. Adopted. Congratulations, uh, Cambodia. You have now the floor. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Aujourd'hui, c'est pour le Cambodge et spécialement la communauté de Watsway and Date, un moment de joie et de fierté de voir ce cinquième élément de notre patrimoine culturel et matériel inscrit sur cette liste précieuse. Au nom du gouvernement royal du Cambodge et au nom des communautés concernées, le Cambodge remercie le, communauté, le comité d'avoir accepté d'inclure le Crown Car Watsway and Date. Cette inscription est un encouragement supplémentaire pour le développement de cette forme d'expression culturelle cambodgienne. Le Cambodge a conscience qu'il lui incombe d'accompagner la communauté dans la mise en œuvre du plan de sauvegarde. De nombreuses activités sont déjà en cours. Elles considèrent cet élément comme un reflet de leur identité culturelle. Je puis vous assurer, Monsieur le Président, élément du comité, que cette inscription créera une synergie positive entre les communautés et les autres parties prenantes, ce qui soutiendra, ce qui soutiendra considérablement les efforts de sauvegarde et assurer la viabilité de l'élément. Pour finir, le Cambodge considère que cette session constitue une étape majeure dans la contribution du patrimoine culturel immatériel à la tâche essentielle de préservation de la diversité culturelle et je vous remercie à nouveau, Monsieur le Président, et les membres du comité. Merci. Et merci beaucoup, le Cambodge, et bravo encore une fois. Est-ce que je peux demander au Cambodge, s'il vous plaît, pour ne pas trop gêner le travail, de se mettre soit à gauche, soit à droite, s'il vous plaît, le Cambodge Bougez, s'il vous plaît, au fond de la salle ou à gauche, s'il vous plaît, le Cambodge. S'il vous plaît, le Cambodge, je vous demanderai de, de bouger soit à gauche, soit à droite, pour qu'on puisse continuer notre, euh, notre session dans des meilleures conditions. Merci beaucoup. We now come to the examination of the nomination submitted by Egypt entitled Traditional Hand Puppetry, decision 10 a 4 Let me now give the floor to the chairperson of the evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings on, of the body on this nomination. Chairperson of the evaluation body, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. The next file is the traditional hand puppetry submitted by Egypt. Al Alagozi is an old form of Egyptian theatre using traditional hand puppetry. The viability of the practice is threatened by the changing social, political, legal and cultural circumstances of its enactment such as laws concerning public gatherings, the rise of religious radicalism, an overall decrease in the interest among younger generations, and the advanced age of its active practitioners. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfied all five criteria for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. The evaluation body considered that the traditional hand puppetry transmits moral principles, social norms, and cultural values, addresses family relations, 
and conveys messages about negative social behavior and other topical issues. The viability of the element is at risk due to the changing laws concerning legal and cultural circumstances of its enactment, such as laws concerning public gatherings, the upsurge of religious radicalism, and the overall decrease in interest among young generations. Efforts to safeguard the element include the identification and description of its contemporary state, scientific research, and related publications. Through a series of meetings and training sessions, Aragozi practitioners and three NGOs identified the element and provided their free, prior, and informed consent to the nomination. The evaluation body recommends that the committee inscribe traditional hand puppetry on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Omari. Since we did not receive any request for debate or amendment on this file, may I therefore ask the committee to adopt, yes, uh, Kuwait. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Sayyid al-Rais al-Kuwait tawajjan tashkar lajad al-taqeem ala juhudihum bishakl al-aam wa ala malaf al-aragoz bishakl al-khas. كذلك نبارك لدولة مصر ولجميع الدول في المنطقة لماذا يحتوي هذا الملف من ثقافة مهمة لهم وكما تعلمون لما يتعرض هذا العنصر من تهديدات ومتأكدين من أن دولة مصر ومساعدة اليونسكو سوف تعمل على تطبيق جميع التدابير لصون جميع التدابير لصون المقترحة في لجنة التقييم وبالختام هذا الملف فعلا يمثل الليفينج هيرتج بما تحمله الكلمة من جميع المعاني شكرا سيد الرئيس Thank you very much, uh, Kuwait. We have also Colombia and Palestine who, who wishes to say a few words. Gracias, Presidente. Colombia quiere saludar este, esta nominación, este gran trabajo de Egipto de sistematizar, de, de elaborar un dossier de, de tan alta calidad y también felicita los esfuerzos de Egipto por mantener viva Esta, tra esta tradición por revitalizarla y por tener un plan tan serio y comprometido con una manifestación cultural que habla de lo más profundo de Egipto. Gracias, presidente. Thank you, Colombia. Palestine. Shukran, Sayyid al-Rais. ولن أكرر ما قيل لأنني كنت سأشكر أيضا الدولة الطرف وسأشكر الهيئة التقييمية لعملها الدؤوب والجاد وأريد أن أهنئ الدولة لهذا العنصر الهام الدمى التقليدية هي هي من الثقافة المنطقة وفي مصر هذا عنصر هام جدا وللأسف هو عرضة للخطر فبالتالي نشكر الدولة الطرف ونشكر الهيئة التقييمية لتوصيتها شكرا سيد الرئيس Very much Palestine Can we now move to adopt the draft decision on this file are shown on the screen We adopt the draft decision as a whole. Document 13, com 10, A4. I see no objection. Adopted. Congratulations, Egypt. <laughs> May I now, now invite Egypt to take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. نود في البداية أن نشكر اللجنة وهيئة التقييم على دراستها لهذا الملف الذي سبق تقديمه للترشح أول مرة في عام 2014 وقد بذلت جهود عديدة لاستفاء كافة الملاحظات التي أبديت من قبل اللجنة ليعاد تقديمه مجددا العام الماضي للإدراج 
إن الوقت والجهد اللذان بذل خلال تلك الفترة قد أتاح المجال لتقديم ملف للترشيح متكامل وناجح. إن الأرجوز هو شكل قديم للمصر للمسرح في مصر يعتمد على العرائس اليدوية التقليدية ويتم نقله شفاهة من جيل إلى جيل. وللأسف فيتناقص عدد الممارسين لهذا الفن كما تنخفض عدد العروض. مما يؤثر على ثلاثة نقل ذلك التراث غير المادي إلى الأجيال القادمة. وفي هذا الصدد نود أن نعرب عن عميق تقديرنا للعيب الأرجوز وللجهود المبذولة من قبلهم للإبقاء على هذا الفن حيا. وحيث أن المجتمعات المعنية تعتبر الأرجوز عنصرا من عناصر تراثها الثقافي غير المادي، فلقد ساهمت مخلصة في إعداد الملف في كافة مراحله. بما في ذلك تحديد تدابير الصوم السابقة والحالية كما شاركت في بلورة التدابير المقترحة لصونه مستقبلا وهي التي سوف يتم الشروع في تطبيقها بعد الإدراج وإذ يسعد مصر تلقي قرار إدراج العرائس اليدوية التقليدية على قوائم الصون العاجل فإنها تؤكد أن ذلك القرار سوف يسهم في خلق مناخ إيجابي لدى المجتمعات المعنية ويرفع الوعي بالتراث غير المادي بشكل عام. ختاما سيدي الرئيس اسمحوا لي ان اكرر لكم شكر وتقدير وفد بلادي على المستوى الرفيع من التنظيم الاجتماعات وعلى الحفاوه التي حظي بها كافه المشاركون. شكركم. Thank you and congratulations once again Egypt. With your permission now we move to the examination of the nomination submitted by Kenya, entitled Enkipata Unodo Ong Eche, Free Male Rights of Passage of the Maasai Community, Draft Decision 10 A5. As has been the practice in the past, a member of the body did not participate in the evaluation of a nomination submitted by the country of domiciliation of the non-governmental organization he or she represents, or by the country of nationality of an expert or of a representative from a non-governmental organization. I will therefore now give the floor to Mr. Evin Falk, chairperson, vice chairperson of the evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Mr. Falk, thank you for joining us on the podium. <coughs> the thank floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, the next file is uh, Enki Pata, Eunoto, and Oleng Escher, three male reads of passage of the Maasai community submitted by Kenya. Ekipata is the induction of boys leading to initiation. Eunuto is a shaving of the morns, paving the way to adulthood. Olong Esher is the meat-eating ceremony that marks the end of Mormonism and the beginning of eldership. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies all criteria for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Through the practice, young men acquire the knowledge, skills, and social values needed to become respected and responsible members of the community, and to understand and fulfill their role in the society. Knowledge concerning Maasai culture is transmitted to a new generation together with three reeds. However, the practice appears to be rapidly declining due to fast emergence of agriculture as a main source of income, reforms of the land uh, um, uh, tenure system, and the impact of climate change. 
The safeguarding plan draws on a project co-funded by the government of Kenya, the Maasai community and UNESCO based on capacity building and training participants from all nine clans in community-based inventorying. The file attests to an active dialogue and cooperation among the Maasai community, the Department of Culture, the Cultural Initiative for Biodiversity Conservation, the Maasai Cultural Heritage, and other stakeholders throughout the nomination process. The evaluation body recommends that the committee inscribe in Kipata, Ernuto, Alan Onge, Sher, three main rights of passage of the Maasai community on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Thank you, Mr. Falk, for this clear presentation. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment uh, to this file. Do I take it that uh, we can uh, move to adopt the draft decision on this file straight away? Could we have the draft decision on the screen, please? Do we agree to adopt draft decision 13 com 10 a 5 I see no objection. Adopted. Congratulations, Kenya. <laughs> Kenya, you have the floor for two minutes. Chairperson of the 13th session of the Intergovernmental Committee, distinguished members of the committee, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, the inscription of Enkipata, Eunoto, and Olingesher, three male rites of passage of the Maasai on the list of elements in need of urgent safeguarding today, marks one of our happiest moments in the history of implementation of the Intangible Cultural Heritage Convention in Kenya. I wish to thank the evaluation body and the distinguished committee for giving us an opportunity to share with the world this great ICH element, as well as to supporting Kenya with financial assistance towards safeguarding the element. This is the third element the committee has inscribed for Kenya, others being traditions and practices associated to the Kayas in the sacred forests of the Miji Kenda and the Isikuti dance of the Hidaho and the Suga communities among the Luya communities in Western Kenya. Kenya highly values its intangible heritage and has put in place mechanisms towards its safeguarding and transmission through the implementation of this convention. The inscription of the element is therefore a milestone for Kenya as it gives the Maasai community a renewed energy for its promotion and safeguarding the Maasai are made up of nine related sections that all share this common heritage. Three male rites of passage of Enkipata, Eunoto, and Olingesher has all along given them a sense of identity, pride, and promoted traditional systems of governance, decision-making, and responsibility among the Maasai. This heritage has been so outstanding to the extent of endearing the Maasai as a formidable community in the transmission and safeguarding of, ins of its intangible cultural heritage among Kenyan communities. Chairperson, the State Party of Kenya commits itself in the promotion, preservation, and safeguarding the cultural heritage of its diverse communities in addition to the inscribed elements. May I invite the international community to visit the Kenyan Maasai in Kajiado and Narrow counties next year, beginning April, during the times of the celebration of the Nkipata, Eunoto, and Olingesher ceremonies to have a first-hand experience of this outstanding ICH. Finally, Mr. President and Honorable Delegates, may I invite all two operators of the world and would-be tourists to Kenya to consider adding Nkipata, Eunoto, and Olingesher, and Olingesher three male rites of passage of the Maasai community in their travel itineraries. 
we assure the committee that Kenya has a sustainable tourism management strategy to ensure that there is no over commercialization of intangible cultural heritage as a result of increased tourism activities around the elements. May I at this juncture invite you to experience this great intangible heritage by watching our short video. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Kenya. The Maasai are an ailotic group of people who are predominantly pastoralists and reside around major game parks in the Great Rift Valley section of southern Kenya and northern Tanzania. The Maasai community comprises of nine clans. <laughs> They are renowned for their love for animals and for defending and adhering to their authentic cultural traditions, which include a strict age set transition beginning with the very young and which is marked by elaborate ceremonies of which rituals are conducted to bestow on them new status, roles, and responsibilities for the community. The three ceremonies which define the progressive and transitional development of an individual as an integral member of the Maasai society are Enkipata, Eunoto, and Ornishir. Thank you, Kenya. I would like also to thank Mr. Falk for stepping in on this file, we now move to the examination of the nomination. Suri Jajak, sorry, observing the sun. Traditional meteorological and astronomical practice based on the observation of the sun, moon, and stars in reference to the local topography submitted by Pakistan. Mr. Omari, please share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Mr. Chairperson of the evaluation body, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. The next file is Suri Chayek, Observing the Sun, traditional meteorological and astronomical practice based on the observation of the sun, moon and stars in reference to the local topography submitted by Pakistan. Suri Chayek is the traditional Kalasha meteorological and astronomical knowledge system and practice based on the observation of the sun, moon, stars, and shadows with respect to the local topography. The system is repeatedly referenced to allow the Kalasha people to predict the appropriate time for sowing seeds and more husbandry and natural calamities. It's also used to govern the Kalasha calendar by determining the dates of important social events, festivals, visits, and religious ceremonies. However, with the advent of the digital age, people are increasingly opting for more technologically advanced means of predicting weather conditions. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies all five criteria for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. The evaluation body considered that despite modernization and new global forecasting methods, Suri Chayek still plays an important role in the life of the Kalasha community comprising fundamental knowledge that helps sustain their way of life. Suri Chayek strengthens solidarity among people 
and reinforces a sense of identity by pointing towards shared histories and deeply rooted cultural connections. The viability and transmission of the element rests in an innovative transfer of information through storytelling, particularly when the community gathers to observe the rising and the setting sun. The proposed safeguarding plan has been carefully prepared and clearly demonstrates community participation. The nomination involved the widest possible participation of members of the Kalasha community, academics, NGOs, and Pakistan government. The evaluation body wishes to commend the state party for submitting a well-prepared file and further remind it that updating is an important part of the inventory process and invites it to include detailed information concerning this aspect in its next periodic report on the implementation of the convention at the national level. The evaluation body recommends that the committee inscribes Surichayek, observing the sun, traditional meteorological and astronomical practice based on observation of the sun, moon, and stars in reference to the local topography on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Omari, for your presentation. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt the draft decision on this file as shown on the screen as a whole. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 13 com 10 a6 adopted. Congratulations, uh, Pakistan. The floor is yours for two minutes. Pakistan, please. Thank you, Chair. Mr. Chairperson, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government of Pakistan and on behalf of my delegation, I wish to express our gratitude to the Intergovernmental Committee for inscription of Pakistan's Suri Jajak tradition on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. We will also like to take this opportunity to convey our immense appreciation to the Evaluation Committee and Secretariat of ICH, which provided valuable support in achieving this milestone. Suri Jajak, or observing the sun, is a traditional meteorological and astronomical practice based on the observation of the sun, moon, and stars in reference to the local topography. This practice plays a pivotal role in the Kalasha community as a significant social event like festivals, feasts, rituals, animal husbandry, and farming practices are governed through this age-old practice. It is also used to forecast weather and predict natural disasters. This is Pakistan's first ever independent intangible cultural heritage inscription. Currently, Pakistan is part of falconry and noros, which are inscribed on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of the humanity as multinational nominations. Suri Jajak was a fast disappearing element of indigenous Kalasha knowledge of nature and universe and therefore was proposed to be put on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. This vital tradition will now be protected as part of shared human heritage of the entire world and will continue to serve its spiritual and utilitarian purposes. Being a party to UNESCO's 2003 Convention for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage, Pakistan subscribes to its provisions and is committed to, pres to preservation of its intangible cultural heritage. UNESCO is the only international organization that can pride itself in holding this immensely important mandate of building peace in the minds of men and women through education, culture, science, and communications. Traditional practices add value to our everyday lives. Heritage constitutes our national identity and is a source of cohesion in an age of bewildering change. Placing culture at heart of development policy is a priority of our government and an essential investment in our future. 
In the end, I would like to request the Secretariat to play a part of our short documentary on Suri Jajik. I thank you all. Masrukas putras demo, masrukas so my kaltabariyo, viota se my kiaziano, shing surasom geryo chung demo. Chan or ma wo su wo gane. वो सूर्य सूर्य मास्टर को कह रही है ना कि मैं अपने बेटी को मतलब चंद का जो बेटा है उस उसके साथ शादी करवाऊंगी उसके आपके साथ मैं रिश्ता बनाऊंगी खलताबारी हम तो कहते हैं कि किलाई जुबान में हम खलताबारी कहते हैं रिश्ता जो जब नए नए रिश्ता बनता है उसको हम खलताबारी कहते हैं तो सर मास्टर का सोतरा तो सब सब आरूद है फिर वो मासूम के साथ फिर उसकी जो बेटी जो है शादी करके उसके घर जा रही है जैसा कि यहां पे हम जब शादी करते हैं तो पहले तो लड़का लेके जाता है फिर बाद में उसके अबू उसको घर बुलाते हैं तुम उसके घर जाओ वहां से मैं दोबारा आपको बुलाऊंगी अपने घर इस तरह ये <laughs> थैंक यू पाकिस्तान एंड कंग्रेचुलेशन अगेन फॉर योर फर्स्ट इंस्क्रिप्शन वी विल नाउ मूव to the examination of the last nomination under item 10a no, no, for the file shadow play no, sure. submitted by the Syrian Arab Republic Thank you, Thank you. I will uh, now give the floor to the chairperson of the evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings of his body of his committee Thank you very much chairperson please Thank you Mr Chairperson The next file is shadow play submitted by Syrian Arab Republic Shadow play is a traditional art consisting of handmade puppets moving behind a thin translucent curtain or screen inside a dark a dark theater now practiced mainly in Damascus Performances in popular caves have waned and are now mostly confined to festivals, special holidays and theaters. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfied all the five criteria for inscription on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. The evaluation body considered that shadow play is a popular Syrian traditional performing art with a deep social and cultural meaning which conveys social, religious and political content and teaches people about proper social behavior through satire. The practice and popularity of the element have been declining since the 1940s due to modern technology and new forms of entertainment. The proposed safeguarding measures include training new puppeteers, increasing performances, participation in international festivals, documentation, transmitting knowledge, launching a website, returning performances to caves, networking and building a legislative framework to manage living heritage. The nomination was drawn up by government organizations in partnership with artists cultural associations and civil society organizations. The evaluation board recommends that the committee inscribe shadow play on the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Mr. Omari. In this case also, the Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt the draft decision as a whole, as shown on the screen. I see no objection. 
I therefore declare decision 13 com 10 SC adopted. Congratulations uh, to the Syrian Arab Republic, to whom I now give the floor for the intervention. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairperson. And allow me, please, to express my gratitude to the Republic of Mauritius for their much appreciated hospitality. Secretary of the Convention, Intergovernmental Committee members, distinguished delegates, observers, and NGO representatives. On behalf of the Syrian people, I thank you and congratulate you for the positive inscription of Syrian shadow play to the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of sa urgent safeguarding. Shadow play is an element deeply ingrained into the memory and traditions of the Syrian people. It has lived and transformed to represent more than the puppeteer and his screen. It is an example of how living heritage helps communities to build social bonds between each other, how they connect with each other, and how they express their thoughts, opinions, feelings, and grievances. In challenging circumstances, however, especially in war and displacement, the cultural heritage of communities is directly threatened, and therefore it is vital for the national and international efforts to come together to safeguard this heritage within the spirit of the Convention, as we have seen today. The Syrian Arab Republic, including its government institutions, civil society organizations, and local communities, are committed to safeguarding this element to guarantee its transmission to future generations. We pledge our commitment to the implementation of the four-year safeguarding plan outlined in the nomination file, and which was prepared with the direct participation of Syria's last active puppeteer. We would like to thank the evaluation body for the professional work on the nomination file, and we take note of the recommendations included in their assessment. We thank you for giving the opportunity for our communities to celebrate their cultural identity, to enhance their safeguarding efforts of shadow play and support the transmission and continuation of their living heritage. With your kind uh, permission, Mr. Chairperson, we have a short video to show, and thank you all very much again. مسرح خيال الظلم بشكل عام أنا بالنسبة إلي بيعني حياتي الوالد لما قلت له شو يعني كركوز لما كنا عم نجمع الكتب وكذا قعد قال لي لك يا أبي هذا كركوز شغلته شغلة لما بتصنعيها للقطعة بتحسي فيها بتعملي لها طريقة حكي إلها هاي القطعة روح بتصير هي روح لما عم تحكي بتصير إنسان تاني هذا الشيء إذا أنا ما علمت العالم أو أنا ما قدمته أولادي وين بدهم يشوفون المجتمع متعطش لهذا الشيء متعطش لشيء اسمه بعيدا عن عن الشيء التطورات الحديثة وكذا متعطش لشيء بداخله لذاته أنا ما كنت بحلم بصراحة إنه بيوم من الأيام خيال الزاز يستمر لما بتقولي انه في ناس صعب تفكر انها تحمي هذا الفن او هذا التراث او هي المهنه بحس انه في ناس صار لازم عن جد نقول شكرا كثير لهم بساعاتي بهذا الشيء انه كونه سجال عم بشوف انه المسرح عم ينطلق في شوارع مدينه دمشق مو مسرح واحد عده مسارع عم تحكي عن قضايا المجتمع عم تحكي عن اطفال المجتمع عم تعبر للاطفال هذا الفن سوري وسوري قديم هذا المسرح مرتبط بدمشق دمشق مرتبطه فيه مسرح خيال الظل على قائمه الصون العاجل في اليونسكو لعام 2018 Thank you, thank you again, and congratulations, Syria. 
the Shungis delegates. We have now completed the examination of all the nominations submitted for inscription on the urgent safeguarding list under item 10A. Let us now move to the next sub-item, 10B, examination of nominations for inscriptions on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage for humanity. We have uh, already examined the joint inscription of the file submitted by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and the Republic of Korea. Furthermore, the Secretariat has informed me that Lao People's Democratic Republic withdrew its file, so it is no longer for us to examine. This means that 37 nominations remain to be examined under this item. Before starting the examination of the nominations, it is important that we remember the criteria that must guide our decisions today. These are now being shown on the screen. Do we have it on the screen, please? We have it now on the screen. Just uh, to remind ourselves that the state party is uh, requested to demonstrate that an element satisfies all the following criteria. R1, the element constitute intangible cultural heritage as defined in Article 2 of the Convention. Inscription of the element will contribute to ensuring visibility and awareness of the significance of the intangible cultural heritage and to encouraging dialogue, thus reflecting cultural diversity worldwide and testifying to human creativity. Our free safeguarding measures are elaborated that may protect and promote the element. Our four, the element has been nominated following the widest possible participation of the community, group, or, if applicable, individuals concerned and with their free, prior, and informed consent. Our five, the element is included in an inventory of the intangible cultural heritage present in the territory or territories of the submitting state or states parties as defined in Articles 11 and 12 of the Convention. Let us therefore move now to, exam to the examination of the individual files. I will now move to the examination of the nomination of the first file. submitted by Argentina, entitled Chamame, I will now give the floor to the chairperson of the evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Chairperson of the evaluation body, please. Thank you, 
Mr. Chairperson. The next file is Chamame, submitted by Argentina. Chamame, a musical journal, journal originating in the province of Corrientes, is the product of a cultural symbiosis comprising Gurane, African American, and European elements. It is danced, played, and enjoyed by people of all social spheres and generations during family, civic, popular, and religious celebrations and festivals. From the information included in the, in the file, the nomination satisfied criteria R1, R2, and R2 for inscription on the list on the representative list. The evaluation body considered that Chamame is a cultural expression that brings together people of different cultures, generations, regions, and social classes. A wide range of safeguarding measures is proposed, including the repair and the maintenance of musical instruments the integration of Chamame into education and setting up an interpretation center in Corrientes. However, the evaluation body considered that the information is not sufficient to assess criteria R2, R4, and R5. The file con concentrates exclusively on increasing the visibility of the element itself while making inappropriate references to its uniqueness without demonstrating how the inscription could contribute to raising awareness of intangible cultural heritage in general. A long list of different meetings related to the nomination process is provided, but there is no clear description about the nature or mechanisms of involving communities. Evidence related to the inclusion of the element in an inventory is also incoherent. The information provided refer to several and different inventory mechanisms in an unclear and scattered manner. Basic information such as the date of inclusion of the element in the inventory, how the inventory is regularly updated and the modality of updating it is also missing. A clear statement concerning customary practices governing access to the element is missing. Therefore, the evaluation body recommends that the committee refers Chamame to the submitting state. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Omari, for this uh, detailed explanation of the different issues raised during uh, the evaluation of this file. The Bureau received a request for debate, and in fact for amendment to, uh, for this file. And uh, the amendment proposed is quite lengthy. And at this stage, we have uh, the English version only, which will be shown on the screen. Could we have it on the screen, please? Oh, I see. I believe that I've been, I went a bit too fast. I should, first of all, request uh, committee members for their comments. I see Guatemala. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Eh, como hemos venido manifestando, creo que el diálogo es importante que se dé en esta asamblea y el comité es un órgano también que da la eh, oportunidad para que se expresen los estados parte. En este caso solicito que se pronuncie el estado que ha hecho la propuesta 
para ampliar o, o dar oportunidad para que explique algunos puntos que quizá no quedaron muy claros eh, o no fueron interpretados como se esperaba por parte del órgano evaluador, ya que Argentina pues, necesita un criterio de oportunidad. Muchas gracias, señor presidente. Thank you very much. China, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, we first would like to uh, appreciate the efforts of the evaluation body on the, uh, this nomination, and uh, also thanks for the submitting states for this. And uh, we also noticed that uh, when we look through the uh, nomination file of this element uh, in section 4A, which regarding to the participation of other communities, uh, we do notice that uh, it mentioned the active participation of the communities. Uh, by listing series of uh, events and activities. And we would like to request further clarification from the submitting states on this issue. Thank you. Thank you, China. May I now invite Poland, please? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, first, I would like to uh, uh, welcome with appreciation detailed recommendations prepared by evaluation body. However, in light of yesterday's discussion concerning dialogue, we would like to ask state party for clarification in information in few points concerning uh, this uh, uh, criteria as mentioned by uh, evaluation body, uh, because concerning our knowledge, not every arguments were taken into account by uh, distinguished evaluation body. So please, state party, to give us more information in this case. Thank you. Thank you. Colombia, please. Gracias, señor presidente. En primer lugar, Colombia, quiere agradecer al órgano evaluador por el trabajo realizado en la solicitud de inscripción del chamamé por parte del Estado parte. Queremos asimismo felicitar a Argentina por proteger y reconocer el chamamé, esta manifestación cultural propia de la provincia de Corrientes, como se explica en el dossier, que es un elemento producto de la simbiosis entre la población aborigen guaraní, europea y africana, que desde el siglo XVI se gestó en las misiones lideradas por las comunidades religiosas jesuíticas una historia común, compartida en América entre varios países como Paraguay, Bolivia o Colombia y que se manifiesta de muchas y particularidades maneras en nuestro continente, como con el uso de instrumentos como la guitarra, el violín o el arpa. Sobre el documento que avala la inscripción, se indica que este elemento ha sido incluido en el Registro del Patrimonio Cultural y Material de la Provincia de Corrientes. Sin embargo, la información contenida en la sección quinta, cinco, número 5, remite a diferentes mecanismos incluidos, diferentes leyes y la lista de patrimonio cultural y material del MERCOSUR. La información relativa a la fecha de inclusión del, del elemento o cómo este inventario se actualiza de manera periódica, sin embargo, no se incluyó en el dossier. Por lo anterior y a partir de la información suministrada, no es posible concluir si el chamamé está debidamente inventariado. Por lo anterior, quisiéramos también preguntarle a Argentina que nos aclare sobre este tema. Gracias, señor presidente. Thank you, Colombia. Kazakhstan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, dear Chairman, we would like to express appreciation to the work of the evaluation body as well but also to the state party for a very interesting nomination. 
uh, we know that the tradition of chamame uh, has a huge importance for the people of Argentina, and in fact is uh, considered as one of the central elements of their cultural identity, uh, of no less importance than, for example, the world famous tango. And we also notice that some of the uh, evaluation bodies' uh, more negative conclusions seem to be more of technical nature, and maybe indeed the state party has clarifications to them. Uh, given well-known challenges uh, related to the absence of the dialogue mechanism between the state, party, uh, the state parties and the evaluation uh, body, I think we should give this case uh, a close consideration. In this regard, I have a question uh, to the state uh, party. I would appreciate if they would respond uh, on how would the inscription of Chamame uh, contribute to giving a greater visibility to intangible cultural heritage in general and raising awareness about it. Thank you. Thank you, Kazakhstan. May I invite Armenia to share with us their views? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I would like to thank Evaluation Body for the work they have done regarding this file and also to commend our distinguished um, delegates from Argentina for the file Chamame, which seems to be very interesting. And I would like also to join our distinguished delegates from uh, Colombia and uh, ask the permission through you uh, to pose a question to, to Argentina. Because based on the information they provided, um, it's, it's a bit difficult to assess whether Chamama is included in an inventory in compliance with Articles 11 and 12 of the Convention or whether there is some kind of, I guess it's like a technical misunderstanding. So um, I would like to ask them, uh, could they clarify whether it's in the inventory of the international cultural heritage or not? I appreciate your assistance. Thank you. Thank you, Armenia. I now give the floor to Azerbaijan. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, as, uh, regarding criterion two, um, Azerbaijan would like to thank Argentina for having submitted the Chamame file, which is indeed an expression of vibrant culture that represents several cultural traditions in itself and brings together people of different cultures, generations, and religions. We particularly note the involvement of persons with disabilities in the practice, which we believe is one of the strengths of this element. With regard to criterion R2, we are again confronted with a situation where a submitting state faces difficulties to adequately respond to the criterion. Our delegation would tend to partially agree with the opinion of the evaluation body. The response to section two in the nomination file could have been better formulated. Would we, would we, we would be happy to hear from Argentina on how it believes the nomination would support the visibility of intangible heritage in general and would be ready to revisit the recommendation proposed by the evaluation body in that sense. Regarding criterion R4, with regard to criterion R4, we'd like to thank the evaluation body for the detailed evaluation of this criterion. The information provided in the form of community consent letters is indeed very limited. However, our delegation would tend to think not all the consent letters have been submitted by the state. Because if we look at the website shamameargentina.org, mentioned in the nomination, it indeed contains at least 60 pages of letters uploaded that expresses con consents to the nomination. So this might be just a technical or logistical issue that didn't allow all these letters to be attached to the file. Regarding criterion R5, uh, the date of inclusion in inventory is indeed provided. It's not reflected in the form, but rather in the inventory extract attached, and it is 6 January 2017. In that sense, I would, uh, would remind the committee of the decision 10.com10 which in its paragraph 21 stated that the relevant extracts of inventories and the corresponding section in the nomination should be considered together and complementary to each other for the purpose of evaluation. We believe it's an important principle and this approach needs to be applied in the future. The rest of the information on criterion R5 for this nomination, such as community participation and updating of inventory, can also be found in the form and the inventory extract. 
This being said, we don't find reasons for referring the file on this criterion and would support positive recommendation. I thank you all. Can I now give the floor to Cuba, please? Gracias, señor presidente. Eh, deseamos agradecer al órgano de evaluación por la información presentada, así como al Estado parte por también la información que ha compartido con los miembros del comité. Eh, quisiéramos hacer eh, llamar la atención en que estamos ante un expediente que volvemos a tener problemas con el criterio 2 y el criterio 5, lo que reafirma eh, todo un debate que tuvimos ayer sobre la necesidad de reflexionar sobre estos dos criterios en específico, el criterio 2 que aún que deja espacios para eh, ambigüedades. Mi pregunta eh, está referida al, al criterio 4. En las informaciones presentadas eh, no coinciden los mismos criterios del Estado parte con lo presentado por el órgano de evaluación y creo que sería pertinente que ambas partes pudieran explicar eh, o dar sus puntos de vista en relación al criterio 4 para que este comité pueda tomar una decisión más objetiva. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, uh, Cuba. May I now give the floor to Kuwait, please? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, I would like to thank the evaluation body for their uh, job they've been done, and also the state party for submitting this important file, the Chamamiya. As usual, the music's always bringing people together. together. It's a, a living heritage. It's especially in a place where you have multi-ethnics, a lot of migration happened throughout the years. But keeping this tradition and keeping this music alive, I think it's an important role for this committee to consider it. Looking at the file, we see there is a lot of some technical issues and some more clarification being done and some lack of uh, interpretation of the submitted documentation. And we would like to give the, uh, the state party to clarify the comments done by the evaluation bodies and also to have more positive look at this file. As we see it, it's a really uh, a good file that will bring people together. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Kuwait. May I now give the floor to Austria? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, well, I have read the file several times, and um, I have to say that uh, I have come to the same conclusion almost uh, for every criterion um, as the evaluation body. Um, I just have one question to the evaluation body, actually, because um, it seems to be a really um, big community, and uh, I thought this approach of um, involving them through the use also of um, social media uh, was quite quite interesting. So, um, well, the use of social and mass media actually uh, and to have a reflection forum online. And I was wondering um, if the evaluation body could also elaborate on how they came to this um, decision uh, in under criterion four and if they, or if in general, if, um, there is a dedicated website mentioned in the form. Does the evaluation body look at this website? or um, So also for future nominations that we are clear um, on this matter. Thank you. Uh, merci beaucoup, l'Autriche. Après, uh, maintenant je passe la parole au Sénégal. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais donc euh, remercier l'organe d'évaluation pour son travail extrêmement important et me joindre aux autres membres du comité qui ont souhaité qu'on qu puisse donner la parole à, aux pays soumissionnaires pour s'expliquer afin de nous permettre de nous déterminer. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Sénégal. La Jamaïque. Jamaïque, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I was a little worried about a while ago. I th thought you wanted me to speak in French. But <laughs> Vous êtes à bienvenue. Vous êtes à bienvenue. <laughs> no. 
Um, I'm, I'm still learning. Uh, Jamaica recognizes that criteria one and three have been adequately met by the nomination file. We note also the concerns that were raised by the evaluation body in relation to R2, R4, and R5. We support the position of Cuba and Senegal and Kuwait that the state party be given an opportunity to address the concerns related to the contribution to in ICH in general, community involvement, and the presence of an inventory. Thank you. Thank you, Jamaica. Before giving the floor to... Ah. Lebanon, Lebanon, sorry. Lebanon, each time I miss you. Uh, Le Liban, s'il vous plaît. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I was afraid that this is a dead angle from there, but thank you very much. Um, uh, uh, I would like to thank the Hayat al Taqimiya for the report, and we know that it is difficult to do the report. But in conjunction with the beginning of the الحوار وإعطاء فرصة للدولة أن تشرح موقفها نود أن نسمع أكثر من الأرجنتين عن النواقص بالملف شكرا Thank you very much Lebanon but before giving the floor to the submitting party I would uh, request the evaluation body to respond to certain issues which have been raised to one question raised by Austria and then uh, I'll give the floor to, to Argentina. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Uh, in response to the issue raised by Austria, I want to say that uh, besides the four uh, concerns that were submitted, the information in the file also indicated about the website, which we also visited, and so quite a number of other concerns that were also on the website. But remember that also uh, criteria four is not only about the concept. There are several other aspects within criteria four including also the mechanisms of involving the communities, the nature of their participation. There's also section C, which talks about at least a statement, a clear statement, uh, talking about respect for customary uh, practices. So those were the aspects which made us uh, feel that the criteria was not fully met. Although they look small, but those are some of the aspects that require the all criteria to be met. Because uh, for an element, I mean for an, a criteria to be met, we have to go section by section. So in our consensus as an evaluation body, those are the reasons why we felt that the criteria was not fully met. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. May I now... Uh give the floor to Argentina to respond to the queries of the members. Gracias, señor presidente. En primer lugar, como es la primera vez que intervenimos, queremos agradecer al gobierno y a las autoridades de Mauricio de haber organizado esta reunión que nos permite conocer directamente al pueblo de Mauricio, que es el portador del patrimonio cultural inmaterial que estamos conociendo directamente. Y muchas gracias por esta cálida acogida que hace que el patrimonio inmaterial y la cultura de Mauricio sea el elemento más importante al margen de la información que recibimos impresa y por email sobre las bondades de este maravilloso país. Les voy a decir algo que tal vez los sorprenda, pero quiero que presten atención. Ortega Gasset, Matsura, Bellawi G5. Este mensaje seguramente no lo van a comprender a no ser que haya un diálogo y que les pueda explicar cuál es el significado de esto. Algunos pueden entenderlo. Matsura, director general, 
durante las negociaciones de nuestro convenio. Bellawi, presidente del Comité de Negociación y primer presidente del órgano de la Conferencia de las Partes. Ortega Gasset, filósofo español que dijo, yo soy yo y mis circunstancias. En el 2003, I, y que es incorrecto. Argentina. Sí, señor presidente. Uh, I trust that you are responding to the queries from the committee members. Sí, sí, eh, exactamente eso es lo que quiero hacer y por eso es que la, la, es muy importante que tengamos en cuenta la posibilidad de comunicarnos. Apreciamos muchísimo el trabajo del órgano evaluador. Si hubiera un mecanismo de comunicación, de diálogo que nos permitiera contestar por teléfono, por email a una simple pregunta, no estaríamos en esta situación y estamos seguros de que todo habría sido aclarado antes de esta reunión. Para nosotros es extremadamente importante este diálogo y tenemos respuesta y hubo siempre una respuesta disponible. Utilizamos, hicimos que un pueblo que utiliza un lenguaje diferente, que utiliza el guaraní y el español, el guaraní es una lengua oficial de la provincia de Corrientes, también es una lengua oficial reconocida por la Constitución en Paraguay, pero nosotros no la comprendemos. Y le hicimos a un pueblo que pasara todo esto al inglés y al francés para que nosotros, que estamos acostumbrados a otro tipo de documentación, a otro tipo de cultura, podamos entenderlos. Hicieron el esfuerzo de poner todo dentro de un formulario que tiene grandes dificultades, muchas limitaciones, y una página de internet donde está absolutamente toda la información que nos requieren. El conocimiento de cada uno de los de los grupos, cómo se hicieron los talleres, qué quisieron decir, quiénes participaron, etc. Hay algunas frases que nos llaman la atención. Por ejemplo, se hace un mención, hay solo cuatro consentimientos. ¿Cuántos son necesarios? ¿Uno, cuatro, cuatro mil? No sabemos. Pero, ¿a qué estado se le podría ocurrir trabajar años sobre un expediente y luego enviar solo cuatro firmas? Estas cuatro firmas fueron puestas en un formulario donde el límite es de 150 palabras, solo como un ejemplo de las más de 1.000, 1.500 casi que se encuentran en la página de Internet y con fecha que fueron obtenidas en el momento de elaborar este expediente. Con respecto a el criterio 2, porque nos han preguntado sobre todos los criterios, Quiero hacer un, algo muy importante. No, nosotros no estamos a, aislados de la UNESCO en general. Estamos inmersos en todo el trabajo de la UNESCO. La UNESCO está promoviendo permanentemente, y somos nosotros, las tecnologías de la información, las TIC de comunicación e información. Sin embargo, parece ser que en la evaluación de este, este expediente se analizó sobre todo y se priorizó el informe en papel. El informe que utilizó, fue utilizado, eh, se volcó toda la información en la página anexa que está perfectamente mencionada en el expediente. Pedimos a la Secretaría que nos permitiera proyectar una captura de pantalla donde está esta página, con la posibilidad de que cualquier miembro acceda en este preciso momento a la página a ver si estaba o no estaba la información. Lamentablemente nos comunican que no es posible, pero cualquiera puede hacerlo desde su banca accediendo al sitio de internet que está en funcionamiento. Con respecto al criterio 2, que fue una de las preguntas, a través de la inscripción del elemento, la comunidad toma conciencia de lo que es el patrimonio inmaterial. Todo el proceso está orientado a esto. En este proceso trabajaron mujeres, niños, mayores, pueblos originarios y demás. Esto puede, por supuesto que se nos pide que no seamos orgullosos, le pedimos al pueblo que presentó esto que no, se, no esté orgulloso de aquella inscripción que están defendiendo. Hay una confusión entre nuestra convención, con, eh, convención y la convención de 1972. Esto lo sabemos todos y es precisamente a través de las inscripciones como se puede clarificar a cada uno de los pueblos la importancia del patrimonio inmaterial en general. El problema del criterio 2 es un problema de comprensión y de capacitación. Si seguimos mejorando los mecanismos de participación 
y de, perdón, de, de capacitación, podremos obtener mejores propuestas en el futuro, mejores respuestas al criterio 2. Sin embargo, el orgullo de la comunidad al utilizar términos como único, exclusivo, excepcional, es un orgullo legítimo. Podemos explicarles que este orgullo debe ser expresado de otra manera, pero no podemos condenar a un pueblo por este orgullo de lo que es su propia cultura. Estamos dispuestos a clarificar todo lo que nos pidan sobre el criterio 2 también. La inscripción del chamamé en los inventarios hizo que además inmediatamente después hubiera muchas otras inscripciones. El Gauchito Gil, el Zapucay, Caray Octubre, la Pilarcita, San Baltasar, etc. O sea que la propia inscripción, el propio proceso de registro y de inventario hizo que las comunidades se volcaran y de esta manera aprendieron cómo, es, cómo funciona el patrimonio inmaterial y a través de esta inscripción se enteran de cómo funciona el patrimonio en general. Nuestra, por supuesto que es mejorable y estaremos dispuestos en los informes periódicos a mostrar los resultados de este criterio que lo único que muestra es el orgullo de la propia comunidad y que no debemos desalentar. La UNESCO debe acercarse a los pueblos, así como los pueblos se acercan a la UNESCO a, la tra a través de estas inscripciones. Pero tenemos que respetar su propia cultura y su forma de trabajo, no pedirles lo imposible. Lo imposible es condenarlos, lo posible es hacerlos aprender. Por esto queremos que se tenga en cuenta y que se nos dé la oportunidad de inscribir este bien que es fundamental para nuestro país, es fundamental para la región porque es la integración de todo el continente y la integración de los pueblos originarios con los pueblos que luego emigraron a la Argentina y al sur de, del continente. Voy a ir al criterio 4, sobre el cual fuimos consultados. El criterio 4 tiene el siguiente, el siguiente problema. Nos piden cómo fue, eh, hay referencias a individuos, pero el, cam, el campo está muy limitado. El, es muy corto el espacio como para poder poner cuáles son los apoyos que recibimos. Eh, me voy directamente. A, en las, los formularios contienen algunas indicaciones sobre cuál es la profesión o ocupación. Pero la Argentina. Me hay sí. uh, just uh, remind uh, Argentina that uh, we are just uh, arrived at uh, the normal time to break for lunch, but in any event, to remind uh, Argentina about uh, Rule 22.4, that uh, he should uh, provide information to the, uh, to the question raised by committee members, and if we could uh, please uh, be precise on that score under U4, please. Thank you. Bien. Eh, como fuimos consultados sobre casi la totalidad de la convención, por eso es la extensión de nuestra intervención. Pero ahora vamos a tratar de acortar y de pedirles que si hay preguntas más específicas, las vuelvan a hacer para no pasar por toda la lista nuevamente. En esta página de Internet donde está claramente demostrado que hubo mucha participación popular, se pueden ver, por ejemplo, talleres con una descripción muy exhaustiva de quienes participaron y cómo en el año 2016-2017 y posteriormente los talleres que se están haciendo en el 2018 para seguir adelante con, con, el, con este con, con la, en la inscripción del chamamé. O sea, no paramos en la Argentina y seguimos haciendo. Esto está muy claramente en una sección que se llama espacios de disfrute y, y consentimientos. Esta información ya está y la pueden comprobar. En cuanto a los consentimientos específicamente, es, hay más de mil formularios que solo son ejemplificativos. Y el tema central aquí es que ¿por qué se eligió este método? Es porque no hay ningún ninguna pauta concreta que diga cómo se debe llenar este formulario y cómo deben ser expresados los consentimientos. Entonces, se eligió 
una lista suficientemente larga, no de cuatro, de más de mil, se la dividió en diferentes grupos y para nosotros es extremadamente importante la participación de toda la comunidad sin ninguna excepción. No hay quienes son detentores del llamamé y quienes no. El llamamé hace parte integral de la provincia de Corrientes y de nuestro país. Toda la comunidad participa, por lo tanto, la información que se volcó las mil y no las cuatro firmas son de representativas y son solo en un ejemplo. En cuanto al registro, que es el inventario, y esto quiero ser terminante, el registro es el inventario. Aquí existe un problema que es el siguiente, que tampoco lo tenemos demasiado claro. El artículo 12 nos dice que para asegurar Please, la identidad... I'll, I'll give as a Argentina two more minutes to conclude, please. Van a ser suficientes, señor presidente. Los inventarios se deben hacer en cada estado parte con arreglo a su propia situación. Y hablan de uno o varios inventarios. Nuestro país es un país federal donde las provincias tienen libertad de dictar hasta su propia constitución. Por lo tanto, se priorizó que a través de la resolución 1553 se creó un instituto, el Instituto de Registro y el Registro de Bienes de Patrimonio Material. En este registro es donde se encuentra el inventario. No es una citación de normas solamente, este es el inventario y ahí está. Por su parte hubo este inventario, también se presentó al Mercosur, donde ya se declaró como patrimonio del Mercosur al Chamamé. Por lo tanto, podemos seguir explicando, pero este registro que para los miembros les decimos hay un error de ortografía, inclusive en castellano, no dice registro, dice registro. ¿Por qué? Porque hablan en guaraní quienes lo hicieron. Y, para, y tuvieron que traducirlo al castellano, al español, para que nosotros lo pudiéramos comprender. El chamamé hace parte del pueblo y toda la comunidad participó. Como estoy limitado en el tiempo, eh, podría ampliar las respuestas si algún miembro del comité está dispuesto a clarificar un poco más las preguntas, pero quedamos en sus manos, señor presidente. Thank you, Argentina. We are going to take uh, a decision on the draft uh, after lunch. May I, uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, before we leave the room, give the floor to the secretary for a few practical announcements. There is an event taking place uh, during our lunch Uh, the seminar organized at the Ministry uh, of Culture of Colombia, Intangible Cultural Heritage in Urban Contexts, which will be held at 1 p.m. in the Kestrel Room. Please consult the TV screen just out outside the room for more information about side events. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. No, no translation. We are... Oh, announcement. The graph is reversed. We are meeting uh, again at uh, 14.30 p.m. Make sure we are here on time, please. 2.30 p.m. If I... Palestine, we don't have any interpretation. No, no, but, uh, we, we need, we need the Secretariat just to make an announcement, please. Thank you. About the meeting of the Arab group at 1.30. Thank you. Meet, there will also be a meeting of the Arab group. Thank you.